Well, we successfully disengaged. We got another heavy cruiser out of that. 7,100 tons more added to our belt. And damaged two enemy fleet carriers. Not bad, not bad. Battery recharged. Our next location of importance, if you will. Single contact. Bearing. One, nine, two, yes, That's probably coming from that Personal from the escort down. carrier. Yeah, lots of planes, Bearing. lots of planes. Uh first order of business is avoid those planes, avoid that island. And we're gonna just go see what Saigon's all about. Plane shouldn't be that too, shouldn't be that hard to avoid. Also, are we on battle stations? No. It's probably laggy because of the uh, number of airplanes in the air. And that's partially. Oh. I don't think these guys will see us. Those guys will see us. Now, if you're going for a battery survivability in terms of saving your battery, speed does matter. So I'm going to set it to one knot. In hopes of going through the day. And I'll see you when we're done dodging plane. We've spotted a merchant. However, I think it's a sand pen. How far away? I, I'm not gonna hit him from that distance. My crew definitely won't. Just a little bit. I don't even know how you guys saw him. Let me go to this. Two degrees. I don't see a ship. Or a sailboat or anything. Sand pan's only worth like 70 tons, 80 tons. I wouldn't get you up, so. Yep, there he is. It's a sand pan. to see they weren't too lazy graphics. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this a town? Oh, there's the dog. It's not cheap. Not yet. There he is. Now if I hold shift, this will make this scrolling thing a little bit faster. Oh, it was damaged? <laughs> Been through so many uh, alternate realities that I don't remember what's damaged and what's not. It's a good thing it was repaired. should be firing HE. Should 
shouldn't be wasting my armor piercing on him. Actually, I shouldn't be wasting my deck gun ammo at all, but I'm gonna fire it in. These sand pants are fun to kill. You guys could probably only see him through the flashes he's making. And it's surprisingly bright for two in the morning uh, Manila time. Probably about midnight here. It's surprisingly bright. Oh, that's hitting a little high. Ooh, he's on fire! Mass gun loading. Ooh, he exploded! That's what we like to see. Fishing boat, 200 tons. Oh, that's the bigger one. That's it. I thought it was one of these. Avoid any shore guns if there are any. Ooh, merchant smoke. It's still surprising. Right? Oh, I see a bunch of merchants. Get flooded. Very six nine. Long range. Yes, man in green. I'm gonna look for shore guns on the opposite shore. I didn't see any shore guns uh, by the port. Looking for shore guns. Don't see any shore guns. Because those I don't think are possible to destroy, so... I feel like I will cheat them out. Besides. But, but after you, if you've watched the whole, everything that we've done so far, you will know that I'm not afraid to use my external camera to my advantage. I don't see any. Good. Shore guns to mess with me. There's an invisible forest. The cloaking technology. Look, it's a camouflaged tree. It's a camouflaged forest. You guys probably can't see. I think you can see that. You can see the outline of the pixels. I've never seen that. Yeah, and all the shrubs. All camouflage. Interesting. Now this is going to be slightly cheating. I'm going to look for shore gun batteries next to the dock. If they're going to be shore guns, they're going to be right over here. Uh, you don't see a gun in placement. Watch that gun though. 30, 41 might be a little too far. Look at all that stuff to shoot up. Naturally, we're going to be starting with the. Ooh, we got a sub chaser. Some gun I'm going to start with the uh, military things. So, whoop. I'm going to order all stuff.
stop. So we get stopped. What is the distance to the sub chaser to us? That was him returning fire. <laughs> All right, we're going to focus on the big merchants then. Right. Fire one. We should only need one. Ooh, that's low. Kaboom. Oh, he might need a second helping. He is pretty big though. Got the rest of the ships in for it. Uh, he might be a target. Actually, what I should be asking is he a target? Uh, yeah. Nice speed. Fire two. in the water.
hit something. He's gone. That satisfy you? You weighed pretty. Wait a lot. Yeah, I I did him correctly. Medium. Yeah, he blew up real good. That sub chaser. I may put a torpedo in him just because of how annoying he was. Though I did shoot at him. Now go the other torpedo. Submarine is clearly not up there. Yes, sir. All stop. Yes, sir. Do we miss? No, it detonated. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. That, my friends, is called a circle run. It is just as terrifying as it sounds. Actually, it's probably more terrifying because you don't know what a circle run is. Well, maybe you do. I'm going to have to wait for that thing to burn out. You know, I was always prepared for a circle run, but I've never had it happen until just now. at it go. Round and round. I'm really glad that they didn't strike me. Yes, sir. Repeat, miss, sir. <sighs> I'm really glad that's the case. that one. Uh, I don't think I did any crippling damage. Well, I'm gonna have to use the rear tubes. Okay, we're setting up for the rear tubes. How many 
many torps do we have? We have four torpedoes. Where are they? Let me see. Actually, we're gonna shoot at this guy. But at least, hopefully, this one won't do a circle run. Well, you know, I'm really, really lucky. Hey, what a second one. I've been really, really unlucky, and I've been really, really lucky. I've been really, really unlucky Fire in the fact that, oh, I don't know, we had a circle run nearly kill me. Please tell me that's deep enough. Oh. That's a problem. Torpedo is a dud, sir. <laughs> Are you sure? That's gonna be annoying. I'll just have to skirt him. Uh, avoid him as I fire. I won't worry about him. Uh. High speed. Contact. Fire. Oh, that one might bounce. Torpedo is a dud, sir. Okay, we're gonna leave it on contact influence, high speed. Firing two eight. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the There we go. Yes, sir. Oh, that could have been bad. That gun. It's 4200. Firing. That appears to be accurate. Now we have to listen to see if we get shot.
Hopefully they're bad shots too. Ooh, I blew, I blew his stack off. He won't be going anywhere. I don't know if the seawall is right there. Switch targets. Bearing 30. Yeah, I think I was hitting the seawall. Same spot over and over again. Like fire armor piercing in a second. That's a good hit. That one fell short. That was a waterline hit. Released. Fire five more HE, then we'll start pumping it, armor piercing into it. I don't know how armored these things are. The final arm, uh, high explosive we fire at that guy. Unless we need to start firing HE. He actually look at him. See, even the one I want to be shooting at. some holes in the water line. Back to the water line. He's just really, really big. It's taking its toll, it's just taking its time.
The deck gun in this game can get sort of ridiculous with a really good crew. I might show that off. I mean, enough to sink an aircraft carrier crazy. <laughs> 